What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is British versus American Jim Grafferton stand-up. I'm pretty sure I have seen this one a while ago. Okay. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head fully. I may remember the odd bit here yeah. and there. But if it's funny, it'll make me laugh a second time. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I laugh the first time and it can get me a second time, then that's a good comedian. Have you heard of Jim Gaffigan before? Never. I think this is the only time I've reacted to him. So if, if you enjoy it, we'll check yeah. out more. Let us know in the comments if you want us to see more. As always, let us know more stand-ups you want us to check yeah. out. I know you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. And let's check out British versus Americans. Jim Gra Grafferton stand-up. What we got? I do enjoy traveling to other countries, seeing how different, but essentially similar we all are. Like, like the UK is not that different from the US. You know, if anything, you go over there and it seems like British people are trying to be different from Americans. They're like, oh, you drive on the right side of the road, then, then we're gonna drive on the left side of the road. <laughs> oh, you call your mother mom, then we're gonna call ours mum. <laughs> Oh, I mean, <laughs> I know you're going to say, I know exactly what I'm thinking. You speak English. Oh, 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 I wasn't thinking that. Are you all right? Yeah, but... No, that... they speak American English. Yeah, but it's English. No. Nah, you it's... got the English from us. Nah. Yeah, they did. I, I was going to back you until you said what you said. Wait, what were you going to back me on, though? I was going to back you on... We drove on the left before you drove on the right. I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, we I'm guessing. drove on the left before you we did. We said mum before you said mum. Yeah, you I'm just guessing. changed it. It's not our fault. <laughs> that's what I thought you were going to go well, with. Well, that's what I was kind of going was with that we... No, what I was kind of meaning was we had the language first. That's what I was kind of going with. But then they would just go, we do American English, not Cut. English. <laughs> well... I'm going to get so roasted. <laughs> not going to the dentist. <laughs> What? If we had a cookie, then we're not going to the dentist. <laughs> we go to the dentist. I know that's cheap. <laughs> I did notice something when I was over there. You know, British people, they don't say the before hospital. You ever notice that? They're like, hospital? I was feeling knackered, so I went to hospital. No, we Whenever do they say. Whenever they do that, I'd say, stop I, the, the. I think I may miss the there. I definitely say, I'm going to the hospital. Yeah. I'd say, I definitely oh, say I went the... to hospital. I, I could potentially say I went to hospital. Yeah, but I definitely But you're, you're more the... posh. Um, I, I know... definitely would say that. I, would I think you would. Out. Because you're, you're just a lot more posh, you aren't even me. No, I just pronounce my words. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> um, I know we don't normally pause in a comic a comedian attack, but this makes sense, doesn't mm. it? We're, we're comparing. <laughs> it's wrong and weird. Are you trying to sound like a polite caveman? And I had a friend from London, he was like, what makes you think you're doing it properly? And I go, because I'm American and we invented the English language. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pet peeve of mine, so I did some research. You know why British people don't say the before hospital? Because they're dicks. <laughs> yeah! I feel like I'm a bit I know that you sounds say harsh, mm. but admit it, British like people always attacked. talk to Americans like we just walked into their jewelry store with two full bags of garbage. <laughs> uh, may I help you? <laughs> Are you lost? <sighs> Obviously, I love the breads, and I would never do those jokes there. <laughs> you didn't get the same reception, I don't think. I have been lucky enough to perform in the UK a couple times, and one time I was walking through Piccadilly Circus, which for the record is a horrible circus. <laughs> There's no animals. And no, I was walking through Piccadilly Circus, and I saw they had an M&M store. And I looked at that M&M store, and it just made me think of all the things the British have given the Americans. Like, our language, Shakespeare, the Magna oh, Carta, and language. I looked at the yeah. M&M. <laughs> he is a comedian, he is taking a mick. Oh, <laughs> so actually, I am right. We did have the language. Yeah, but they just use American English now, they okay. change it okay, a bit. Okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> but the, the, the fundamental base was English. <laughs> Store, and I thought, now we're even. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Given the Americans. Like, our language, Shakespeare, the Magna Carta, and I looked at the M&M store and I thought, now we're even. <laughs> <laughs> when I looked at the M&M store, I wasn't even embarrassed to be American. I was ashamed to be human. Because <laughs> has anyone at any point in their life thought, when are they going to open an M&M store? <laughs> sure, I can buy M&Ms absolutely anywhere, but I like to buy in bulk. <laughs> in a pro M&M we environment. <laughs> 
And you absolutely you wanted to go and you're like, I've got to go to the M&M so store. Cool. I bought little like ones with little different sections in, like little buffalo ones with different things. It was great. We were on holiday though, so it's okay. I had a great time. We were holiday makers. <laughs> I, bought, I bought a blanket. I never had a blanket, didn't I? Unfortunately. <laughs> Obviously, we don't need an M&M store. We don't even need different colored (laughs) M&Ms. They all taste the same. They're just bits of chocolate shaped like Advil. (laughs) With an M on it. They're not even M&Ms, they're M's. (laughs) We don't do that with anything else. You want some raisin and raisins? Go ahead, grab a handful of raisin and raisins. No, I don't even know how many M&M's or M's they would have to sell in London to justify Piccadilly Circus real estate. But this M&M store is massive in the UK. It is three levels, which I guess makes sense. Because the first level, so you can buy M&M's. The second level, so you can buy more M&M's. And then the third level, so you can jump to your death. Because <laughs> you wasted time in an M&M store. <laughs> By the way, I don't have any judgment. If you personally enjoy going to the M&M store, that's fine, but obviously you shouldn't vote. (laughs) I was with my kids at the time, and they wanted to go to the M&M store because little children only want to do horrible things. Kids never want to do something fun like sit in a dark bar and drink beer. And I remember standing there with my kids and I was aware that there were other parents with their children in the M&M store because that's what you do as a parent. You do things with your kids because you love them. But I realized in that moment, I don't love my kids that much. (laughs) I love them enough to walk by the M&M store. (laughs) Jim, you're a monster. But being a parent is not that different from being a tourist. It's essentially the same experience. In both, you walk around exhausted, spending money you don't have, while you look for a bathroom. (laughs) It's the same experience. I would do anything for my wife. I'm aware of that. But there are people that are more romantic. Prince Edward abdicated his right to the English throne for the woman he loved. Isn't that unbelievable? He was forced to choose between the woman he loved or being king of England, and that idiot (laughs) chose the broad. Now, I'm sure in that moment it was the right decision, and I'm happily married, but even in the best relationship, each person has thoughts where they go, I've made an enormous mistake. You're on about. But we never, never thought I could have been king of England. <laughs> Do you think Prince Edward really ever got over that? That makes Every me feel weird, Every time he had to empty the trash. Is- we could have a whole different royal family right now. Like, whole different lineup. Future throne. Potentially. I mean, I don't really keep up with the royal family, to be honest. Do you know what happened? No. Oh, so Prince Edward gave it to the Queen's dad. So that's how now the Queen... Oh. When the Queen's dad died, she became Queen. But it was never... She was never in the line. There we go. In the top line. I was guessing you were saying like that. Mm. Yeah, there we go. You guys might have learned something. I might have learned something. I did, and I knew that. And you knew it. I'm a royal family expert. I love the royal family. (laughs) He's like, the king of England doesn't have to empty (laughs) trash. The king of England can chat with his ex on Facebook. (laughs) (laughs) Can you imagine what kind of news event that abdication was in the UK? There. They must have been, he's gone mad. We should get him to hospital. <laughs> Jim, your British accent is getting worse. It is, it is getting worse. worse. <laughs> Why wouldn't you take five minutes and learn a good accent? It's just lazy. It's just lazy. Wow. Did you enjoy that? That was good. Yeah, it I like was him. good. Um, it's funny. A bit, you know, got us going as well, which is good. You got know what I mean? Got you go, there. got you riled up. <laughs> I rated it. Mm, I'm That's angry. A good comedian okay. made us laugh, got us riled up in a good way as well. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. Let us know what else you want us to check out in the comments below. And watch the video. Have a fantastic day. Peace.